It's a marvelous day here at Mike's Motor Works because today we get to fire up our 437 stroker motor for the very first time. You don't want to miss it. It all happens right now here on Mike's Motor Works. So what we have here is our stroker motor. It started with a 340 Mopar LA small block, and we had that sleeved 40 over. So when we factor in the regular size of the bore, which is 4.04 inches, with that extra 40,000, our new bore is 4.08 inches. Additionally, we did some uh, other oiling work to the block itself. Our crank is from Molnar. It is one of their 340 units, but this one features 4.18 inches of total stroke. The bearings are from Clevite, and the rods are also from Molnar. They're the H beam models. The pistons are from DSS Racing. They are dish domes, and they feature 8 cc's of additional doming on the top of it. Our rings are from Total Seal. Our cam is from Hughes, it is a custom grind. It features the ability to go up to 0.688 inches of intake and 672 inches of exhaust. There is 110 degrees of lobe separation and we are using solid rollers. The heads are from Indy, they are the W2 models. They feature a 235cc intake port with 85cc exhaust and the rockers are from Harlan Sharp. They are 1.6 ratio rockers. Making up the induction side, we have our intake from Indy. It is a 4150 single plane intake. And of course, our carburetor is from uh, Quick Fuel Technology and uh, it is an 8 50 cc carburetor for right now and if we need to upgrade uh, based off of what we get on the dyno we can make that happen we're fixing to fire it up and let's see what's all involved with our process of our first fire
little buddy. It's okay.